Welcome back. Uh, today I'm in Door County, Wisconsin. I've always wanted to come over here. Uh, it's kind of a peninsula on the northeast corner of Wisconsin. Unbelievable smallmouth bass fishing out here on this great lake and Lake Michigan. Water super clear. The zebra mussels have cleaned it out, um, which makes for great sight fishing. It's not great for the fish. It's not great for the ecosystem. Sometimes apparently the fish even get sunburned. It's so uh, it's so clear here, but smallmouth bass love it. Let's go fishing for them. I'm using the stand-up paddleboard today. I'm gonna start with live bait. If I get into them with worms and it's fairly easy, then I'm gonna switch to artificials. And if that works super well, maybe I'll even try fly fishing for them, but the wind is a little dicey, so just getting out there fishing is the most important thing. Let's go explore, let's go see what happens. All right, I've been out here like three minutes and it's really interesting. There's these little dead bait fish and some of them are just like injured and some are completely dead. They're very silver, very shiny, shiny. They're all over the place. Must have got smashed up by the waves yesterday. There's one down there. There's a couple. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, gee. oh no. <laughs> That's definitely going on for bait right there. All right. There we go. Simple as that. Now I just need to see a bass. <laughs> That's beautiful. I was here yesterday, but I couldn't fish because it was too wavy. And I think these waves that were smashing in here, um, they were killing some of these minnows. Hopefully there's bass in here picking them up. Day two of my adventure here, Lake Michigan, uh, Door County. Yesterday was a crazy day. I mean, I put in a lot of hours, a lot of miles on the stand-up paddleboard, and didn't catch a single fish. It's kind of frustrating, but at the same time, I did figure out a spot where, in fact, I'm at the spot right here, this huge bay where the small moths are posting up, and so. You know, yesterday wasn't a total waste. Found the fish. Um, now I just got to catch one. So today I got rid of the live bait concept. I'm just going to go with the, the artificial plastic lure, plastic worm. Um, and I also brought the fly rod. So we'll see what happens here. But I'm glad I at least found the smallmouth bass. I'm sure we're going to catch a bunch today. And of course, I did hook that one yesterday, that giant one. I mean, that was like a five pound fish. That broke my line.
got him. Fine. Oh, he let off. Shoot. Oh, didn't get enough hook set on him. Whew. Bummer. That was intense. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hey, God. Work so hard to get these things and then you blow the hooks. Up. Yes. <laughs> First smally of the trip. If I can hold on to this one. Not a giant, but a decent one. Respectable. <laughs> Finally. A little sight fish in action. Come on, baby. Hooked very good, I think. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. What a pig. Oh yeah. That's not a bad fish. <laughs> That's a good one. Finally. <sighs> Sight fishing paid off. I got a little green, a green clouser minnow. Just slipped right out of there. Beauty. First one of the trip. What a gorgeous fish. I'm gonna measure this puppy and put him back in. 3.30 pounds. Not bad. <laughs> yes. Gee. Takes a long time to find these things. And when you finally do, you gotta be careful not to blow them out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Another decent one. Wish I had a net. But it'd be tough on the stand up paddleboard to have a net. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, big one. Wow, this thing's way bigger. Oh my gosh. Way bigger than I thought. <laughs> way bigger than I thought. Holy mackerel. These are huge bass, man. Let's weigh this puppy. Gee. All right. All right, what do we got here? 4.45. <laughs> That's a PB bass right there. That's a 4.45 pound bass. Wow, and it's not even thick, you know, it's real early season, so it's potentially a five or six pounder, but anyways, heck of a fish.
Yes, finally. Mm. Gee, it took a long time. Beautiful. Big old suck. Oh, he, he swallowed it deep. Break him off, he's so big. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Gosh, amazing. There's another three pounder. Just inhaled it fly. Beautiful thing. Let's weigh this sucker. They're all quality fish, it seems like. It's the nice thing about sight fishing, you can pick them. 3.79. <laughs> what a beauty. I mean, wow, the fish out here are just quality. <laughs> wow. Couldn't do it without polarized glasses. Big old horse. Gee, these things are huge. Mm. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Just a beauty. I mean, we're talking another three, three and a half, four pounder. Man, this place is full of these things. Got him. Mm. Biggin. Oh, yeah. He hammered. <laughs> Real nice. All right. Excellent. Takes, that takes a while. Get on him. Holy cow, is it worth it? Mm. Oof, what a horse. <laughs> a light colored Lake Michigan smallmouth. I'm gonna weigh this one also. So heavy. Mm. This one's coming in at 3.3. Heck of a day. All right, that's gonna do it for me today. I was thinking live bait and then artificial and then fly rod. But I just went straight to fly rod because uh, when I finally found these smallmouth bass, they were in like two feet of water, super easy to see. The fly rod was a perfect tool for them. And there were so many of them, I knew right away I was gonna be able to catch them with the fly rod. Might as well have more fun and catch them with the fly rod. I also wanted to mention I was using a, a green clouser minnow. It's got a little white on it. I did, I tied it myself. Used to use these in the ocean all the time. They're phenomenal. I had to learn how to tie myself because in the ocean the fish break off all the time they're constantly chewing the line so you know i had a big stash of these things i like the action the bass did too so uh yeah this this uh, lake michigan is an amazing place the water is amazing it's beautiful 
that reminds me of the Florida Keys with that bright blue, aqua blue water. But I'm gonna come back, you know, I got my five bass limit. I weighed all of them before I released them, except for one, I forgot to weigh one of them. And I'm gonna flash the number up on the screen of what my total weight was. Um, it was a pretty impressive bag. It's only nine in the morning. You know, I mean, I got out here pretty early, but you know, again, I got plenty of day, daytime left and I've got a couple more days to fish. So I'm gonna come back out, bring the kids. Again, appreciate you watching and supporting. Give them the thumbs up. See you next time.